Hello, welcome to China Mosaic. I'm Wang Xiaohui for China.org.cn. Legendary martial arts novelist Louis Cha, writing under the pen name of Jin Yun, died at the age of 94 on October 30 in Hong Kong, sparking an outpouring of grief on the internet and social media. Cha was born in a renowned scholarly family in eastern China's Zhejiang Province, where he received a good education. He used to work as a journalist and translator for the Da Gong Bao, a well-known Hong Kong newspaper. In the 1950s, he began to write martial arts novels, eventually publishing 15 hugely popular books, including The Book and the Sword and The Deer and the Cauldron series. Martial arts novels have a long history in China, dating back to the Han Dynasty some 2,000 years ago. This literary genre is unique to China. Deeply rooted in this Kung Fu culture, martial arts novels show Chinese people's understanding of the ideal personality, featuring righteousness, bravery, loyalty, and benevolence, with graceful words, intriguing plots, and fascinating martial arts moves. Cha created a universe that was a fantastical and yet still based on the real world, which is known as Jiang Hu in his various novels. Cha's martial arts stories have been translated into English, French, Japanese, Korean, and several other languages. It has been estimated that their global circulation exceeds 300 million copies, making him a highly significant literary figure, with printed copies of his works leading the world. Over the past decades, his novels have inspired the production of movies, TV series. And various culture and creative products, deeply influencing Chinese at home and abroad. There are two important reasons why Cha's works endure, with an everlasting place in world literature. One is that Cha had a deep understanding and an accurate grasp of human nature, enabling readers to find their own image in the characters depicted by him. The other reason is that his works are deeply rooted in traditional Chinese culture, upholding justice, advocating benevolence and devotion to family and country. Cha once said that his epitaph should be, "Here lies a man who wrote more than a dozen martial arts novels in the 20th and 21st centuries. These novels are loved by hundreds of millions of people." Cha has bid farewell to the mortal world, and yet will remain immortalized in the world of martial arts he created. Thank you for watching.